find cos 150 to find this we should follow this method C here we have 150 now you should check 150 lies between which two multiples of 180 what I mean is 150 lies between 0 and 180 this is 180 into 0 this is 180 into 1 between these two numbers 150 lies next 150 is close to which number 150 is close to 180 so 150 now should be written as 180 minus 30 so this will become cos in place of this, now we should write this 180 minus 30. This is your step 1. Next, cos in place of 180, now we write 1 into 180 minus 30. Next. Here we have 180, so cos is not going to change, it will remain cos. And inside we get this angle 30. Now the question is, will we get here plus or minus? To answer that, we should look at the number before 180. That is 1. And 1 is odd. And all the odd multiples of 180 they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant so now to select the quadrant we should look at this symbol here we have negative that means angle lies in the second quadrant and in the second quadrant cos is negative so we should put negative so negative cos 30 is root 3 by 2. This is our answer.